So, uh, it's a few hours later now. Uh, I put on the motors. So, uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, this is for the screw that I thought was missing. That's for putting this one right here. So it's fastened right here. Uh, the motor is right here. Uh, this is actually the smaller motor. Uh, this one right there and this one right here is two uh, big motors and this is a small one right there. Uh, and actually this is wha what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, this is the collet right here for the uh, spindle, yeah. And I also fastened all the cables and that kind of stuff. So, and this one is supposed to be fastened right here. So, when this one is actually moving, this one will follow like this. And it's exactly the same with this one right here. This one will follow as well. Um, I noticed that uh, the table here is actually very stable. It's it's kind of like more stable than I than I thought it was about to be. So that's kind of cool. I'm thinking about this plate right here putting some nice sticker or something like that right over here um, anyway uh, this is the, the toolbox right here I thought we could go ahead and see what's in there uh, this is actually some stuff some allen keys right here different types of uh, different types right there there we go there we go right there and this is for this is for putting in the slots here uh, if you take away the the end plastic here uh, you can actually get this washer kind of stuff in here like that together with one of these so I actually got four of these right here uh, four uh, wait a minute. oh there it is yeah one more missing right there um, and this is actually, I think this is the one is for 3.2 millimeter, uh, 3.2 millimeter, um, uh, males tools, so to speak. Uh, so what's in there right now is actually a 6 millimeter. And then I got four of these stuff right here. And that's, that's the stuff that is actually going to be fastened like this for fastening the stuff in here. I don't need to take these out. I uh, got some other tools. Oh, one more Allen key right there. Got some other tools. This is what the CNC machine comes with right there. I got some drills right there. These are well packed. I think it's four of them. I don't really remember the size of this one, but this actually, I think it's like two drills and two. I'm not really sure what this is. Let's take a look here. Oh, yeah, that's. 
That's a super mini drill right there. Yeah. This is a little bit bigger right there. And this is actually some uh, some steel. Well, this is actually Come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, this is for milling uh, engraving stuff right there. Maybe for milling PCBs and that kind of stuff. So, and I suppose this one is a little bit bigger. Well, I know it is a little bit bigger. Come on. Yep, yeah, there we go. This one is actually smaller. So, yeah. It's very, very sharp. And then I got uh, this one right here. Uh, 3 by 6 by 8 by 52. Uh, I don't know what it says over there. Some Chinese stuff, I believe. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Three by six by eight by fifty-two. HSS steel, yeah, HSS. Uh, SWT. Well, looks kind of looks kind of cool. I don't know the quality of this stuff right here, but um, I have actually plans to to buy new stuff. So this is what this machine comes with, some uh, keys right here, uh, this is for, this is a 3.2mm, three, 3 well 3.1275 uh, or 275 or I'm not really sure. And this one right here, these tools right here, two drills, two milling, uh, for milling right there. And then I got these, uh, these stuff over here, and then I got these one right there. So that's actually what's in the toolbox. And of course, uh, I also got this parallel port uh, cable uh, to put on the VFD right there and in the computer. I'm not uh, actually. I don't have a computer yet. Uh, I think um, I will. I will get one maybe in a few days or so. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, anything? I don't really have any other words to say about this one at this point. More than it seems to be uh, great quality. It feels stable. Uh, there's no flexing anywhere. I noticed that uh, this bracket right here is actually a one piece. Uh, um, so if something goes wrong with this one and I have to throw it away, uh, if I can't really find uh, another spindle that fits in this bracket right here, I can actually take away the bolts here and take away all th this piece right here and build a new bracket that mounts in this uh, one right here so that's kind of good because uh, the smaller the, the CNC machines with the smaller spindle that is air cooled and maybe about 240 watts the bracket is not a bracket because what's fastened in the spindle is exactly the same as this one so all this is one piece and it's kind of hard to 
change the spindle because you can't take away the spindle then you have to take away all this all of this so that's a reason why I bought this one because I can take away the bolts here and only get this bracket away here so I can I can build a new bracket and bolt it on there in the same hole as this bracket so that's I think that's convenient uh, I think uh, with this uh, 800 watt spindle I think it's about uh, two or three hundred bucks more expensive than the cheaper one with a with a less power for spindle I think with a 240 watt spindle so it, it's definitely more expensive but I mean you get you get a better spindle if you if you're buying one of these I definitely recommend uh, ball screws instead of the T screw because uh, the ball screw as you all know uh, is much much way more better than the T-screw uh, if you're getting the T-screw I'm really sure you're gonna get some 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 uh, flex here and that's not very good that's not very good and the, the y-axis is actually unsupported as I said but that's not um, not a problem because uh, it's such a short distance uh, so there is not going to be well at least I hope it's not going to be very much uh, flexing over there so I think uh, I think that's all good um, on the bigger machines on the 6040 the the big brother to this one right here uh, I think the the 6040 actually have supported Y axis, so uh, that's kind of cool. And it's only one uh, ball screw right here in the middle that goes in the middle here. Jump. So yeah, that's just about it. I think not much more to to say about this. Uh, I will definitely make more videos uh, as soon as I get my computer in I uh, will install some programs and uh, I will actually try to get some life in this one put power it up and, and see if it's if it's working I really hope so so yeah that's pretty much the, the view of it so I see you next time bye